Give it down, take to your number. Our candidate number one, pick number nine. And the time that you start answering the question is also the time that our timer, uh, timer will start. Okay, Paul? Once again, our candidate number one, pick number nine. So, meron lamang po siya. 30 minutes. At 30 seconds, 30 minutes. Or 60 seconds, or one minute to answer the question. So, let me read the question for you, our candidate number one. What different quality an LGBTQIA plus member should have to make a difference in the world? Again, what different quality an LGBTQIA plus member should have to make a difference in the world? Well, every day we are being faced by a challenge. And the particular chance I would say as a member of the LGBT community is the acceptance coming from the Arab people. But I think that the most important thing for you to be accepted by those people in the society is that for you to be able to be true to yourself every day. Because by being true, as the saying goes, the truth does set you free. And so when you are true and when you are accepted by society, it will be easy for you to contribute to the better. Time is up. Yes. Thank you, candidate number one. Thank you very much, candidate number one. Okay, there you have candidate number two. Picture number. Our candidate number two pick number six. Okay, question number six. Again, let me read it to you, your question. How different a country could be if the LGBT, LGBT IA plus member will rule a country? Okay, let me repeat. How different a country could be if the LGBT I a plus member would will rule a country. Will it the country? 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 Will it the role model sa ating bansa sa mga maraan ng pagmamahal sa kapwa at magbibigay ng respeto at pag-unawa. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, candidate number two. Yes, thank you very much, candidate number two. Let's have the next candidate, number three. The question goes, what one failure in your life did you most learn from and what lesson did it give to you? Again, what one failure in your life did you most learn from and what lesson did it give to you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a certain failure that happened in my life is that I was not able to experience the love of a, of a woman in my life as my mother because I'm still younger when, I, when my mother passed away because of the heart attack. And I would give that, that's not a failure actually. But for me, it is a failure because you know, it is very difficult for me to understand why my mom is Thank you very much for Okay, thank you very much, candidate number three. Candidate number three, 
We sorry to hear that. Ayan. Ready, ready na ang ating candidate number four. Yes. Ready, ready na siya. Candidate number four, you pick question number 11. Yes, your question is uh, the question number 11. Okay, let me read to you the question. Candidate number four, kinakabahan ba? <laughs> okay, wag ka nang kabahan kasi ayan, alam ko masasagot mo yan ang mga. Okay, given the chance, what one question would you ask to your future 17 year old self? Again, Given a chance, what one question would you ask to your future 17 year old self? If I'm responsible enough to become a 70 years old. Because I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that in the long run, we shape ourselves and we shape our life. The process never ends until we die. And every decision and choices we make is our own responsibility. Yes, that is the question that I would ask if I become 70 years old. If I become responsible enough in my decision in life. If I'm happy and contented with my life. God bless you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much, candidate number four. Now we have candidate number five. Ayan, sir, ang magaling sa magot ng ating mga candidates. Walang tulang kabigyan sa mga ito. They came prepared. Yes. Prepare na prepare sila kayo. Okay. Candidate number five, you pick question number one. Okay, question number one. The question goes, what is your stand about the statement, history is chismix? Maraming salamat salamat po sa akin. Ang chismix para sa akin, isang tatang isip lamang. Maroon tayo magtumala ng sa atin. Tayo mas napaniwalaan natin kaysa sa iba. Nagkakaroon tayo ng kasalanan. Mukumpara tayo. Nagkakaroon tayo ng paghikay kung saan nagkakaroon tayo ng angulo. Nagkakasala tayo. Ano kung bakit nakikialam tayo ng may boy boy. At lagi natin isipin, manigin tayo ng katotohanan. Then ang chismix ay isang biro lamang. Yun lamang po ang pagpapanan ng isa yung lahat. Okay, thank you very much, candidate number five. Hey, my chest are not good. Gano may ka-angkot ang si candidate number five. Okay, it's... Okay, let us welcome candidate number six. Okay, candidate number six, time to pick one number. I pick number three. Question number three. Okay. Your question is question number three. As a concerned citizen, what do you think is the best solution to fight against cyberbullying? Once again, as a concerned citizen, what do you think is the best solution to fight against cyberbullying? I believe that the best solution to fight cyberbullying is actually self-confidence. No one can give us to us but us ourselves. So being self having this self-confidence, being inspired, knowing that you are worthy of your existence, you have the strength, you have the story to share to other people. So regardless of the judgment of other people, it doesn't matter. Because what you believe is what matters most. And as long as you are good, you are kind, definitely. Regardless of the judgment of the people, you are worthy of your existence. Thank you very much and good evening. Thank you, candidate number six. And now it's your time, candidate number seven. Okay, candidate number seven, can we repeat one number? Okay, you repeat the question number four. 
Question number four, what do you think are the three qualities that a Miss Taylor Dunnett universe should manifest to win the crown tonight? Again, what do you think are the three qualities that a Miss Taylor Dunnett universe should manifest to win the crown tonight? I think that the next Miss K Universe lip man and process three things are responsibility, accountability, and integrity. Most of us right now are just joining Trans Beauty Pageant to earn money and to earn the crown. But I've been joining for Beauty Pageant for the past 19 years and I believe I can stand with integrity. I am accountable and responsible on all of the things that I do. As a team leader of a Quantrix International Enterprise, the most famous BPL here in Bicolandia, I can stand and prove that I am accountable and reliable in each and every actions that the people have placed into me. And that was something that we should be proud of. Thank you and good evening. Thank you, girl. Kennedy. Thank you, Kennedy. Number seven. Number seven. Very well said. Next, we have Kennedy. Number eight. Good evening, candidate number eight. Good evening, Paul. Okay, so what can I talk about? Because I don't know what I'm going to text you. Okay, you pick number. Okay, you pick the question number 10. Okay, your question goes like this. What do you, what do you, what do you think is the biggest or the biggest lesson a parent could learn from his or her child? Okay, again, what do you think is the biggest lesson a parent could learn from his or her child? Thank you, yes. Ang pinakamaganda na nga, natutunan ko sa aming mga magulang mula sa kanilang pagkabata, yun ay maging matatag ako kung sa'yo man po ako naroon. Dahil sa pagiging isang matatag ng isang uh, bata na sa inyong harapan, yan po ang natutunan ko lagi sinasabi ng nanay ko. Kahit sa'yo ka man pumunta, sa'yo pa lang sa'yo marating, maging matatag ka upang makakamit po ang iyong tagumpay sa iyong sarili. Yun lamang po at maraming sanay. Okay, very well said, Dominic number eight. And now let's have Kennedy number nine. Okay, very good. Kennedy number nine, then you pick one number. Okay, you pick the question number eight. Question number eight. Here's your question. If you have a chance to discuss one social issue, what would it be and why? Again, if you have a chance to discuss one social issue, what would it be and why? If given a chance to discuss one social issue is about discriminating our personality, being homosexual. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that technology advancement has always played an enormous role in playing up so much change in the world today. Social media in particular is the latest breakthrough in communication technology. This platform has drawn so many people in good and bad ways. It made a lot of things easier as far as communication is concerned. It made communication easier on the global scale. However, as they say, great powers comes great responsibilities. It empowered humanity to raise their voices and many out loud to make the policy that the dog thank you. There we go. Very much. Candidate number nine. If you didn't have to get it well, let's have candidate number ten. Yes, sir. Hindi talaga ang pinaka nerve-wracking na sinasabi natin. Sometimes, kinakabahan sila, pero pag nandiyan na, 
Mangawak, mangawak na din sila. <laughs> Nawawala na yung nervyos nila. Okay, can you pick one number? You pick number, a question number 14. What's again, number 14? And your question is, life is short. How are you maximizing yours? Again, life is short. How are you maximizing yours? It always starts from the turn, which means seizing the day or carpe diem. Let's always remember that we should always need to focus on what's now. We need to know what is definitely needed to be actioned. We are here, so we need to act upon what's now. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember these terms. Make a choice, take a chance, and make a change, because at the end of the day, you are the person who will change your life, not anybody else. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, candidate number 10. Now, maybe call it candidate number 11. We are very elegant. Candidate number 11. Okay, candidate, why not work? Kumusta? I'm a little bit nervous, but I can manage. Okay. You can manage. Very good. Para negosyo lang, kaya na naman daw iman. <laughs> okay, you did question number five. Again, question yes, okay. Let me read to you your question. And it goes like this. If you would consider some or consider somebody or any person to be your role model, who would it be and why? Again? Okay. If you would consider somebody or any person to be your role model, who would it be and why? Well, I consider my mother as a role model. Why? Because she is the one who accepts me. I put it down to me despite of my gender preferences. I believe that my mother did a lot for me. Though many, though there's a lot of discrimination given to me, my mother taught me how to become a better person. That's why I am best, I am salute to my mother because despite of my personality, despite of my gender, he accepted me for who am I? And that's the goal. Thank you. Very good. Very well said, candidate number 11. And I think that the 